Okay, this is my newest project. We are going to install this Atoto Entertainment in-dash car system. I'm gonna put this where the uh, navigation screen is. I'm gonna run some RCAs to the radio and run this cord all the way down to the aux port in the back of the center console. Other thing I have to do, because it's that uh, whatever fiber optic setup, is I have to attach this fiber optic loop so it doesn't throw some sort of weird air or whatever. I, I don't know exactly. I'm just buying it because I know I have to. Okay, USB plug, RCA ends, wiring harness. Okay, two USB plugs. One of them is for the phone, so like CarPlay, Android Auto. The other one is just for a jump drive backup camera, is that what this one is saying. Wi-Fi antenna, parking brake. Okay, so this looks like it's for an amp. There is my external microphone, GPS, mounting hardware, the uh, screen surround, instructions. There we are. Nice and slim. This is the uh, PF model or performance model. I believe this is the 2022 version uh, model A6G2A7PF. All right, awesome. I'm excited. I'm gonna start out by uh, removing the radio. First part are the side pieces. I didn't really have a great way of getting these out. Uh, there we go. Several screws in these four corners. These are all T20. Oh, there's also this one. <clears throat> okay, I need a Phillips. There's two more screws I need to remove. It's for a Phillips. There's a pin underneath on the bottom of the stereo that's holding it into this. Okay, there's also these pins on the side that uh, help line it up. At the same time on the edge of the stereo, there's pieces of plastic that come down and they lock themselves onto this part. Supposedly, I can lift up on the dash here. It does say put it in neutral. Put it in neutral and then just pull straight up. Whoa, that worked. So let's do a walkthrough. I grabbed the back side of this and pulled up. Once I got that free, I pulled this up from behind some more <clears throat> and then got the front free. Reached underneath, unplugged the cigarette lighter and I am assuming it's some sort of courtesy light plug and then I just rotated the whole thing to the side and put it back in park. So the next thing I want to tackle is this. That's what I want to get to. I'm going to remove these vents. I need to get these vents off. On these vents, there's a screw here, screw there, right? But it looks like behind the these beige panels right here on the sides that there's another screw right around there and so then I'm assuming on that side it's gonna be right around there there's another screw holding that vent in place so in order for me to get to that screw I've got to remove these pieces so I don't want to do any of that again I'm lazy what the hell Guarantee you, I just lost a whole bunch of pins. That was actually easier than expected.
have some Phillips screws, two up top, two in the back. All right, and then it looks like this just flips up, slides out. Next thing I wanna look at, I wanna see if I can remove this surround. It'd be even cooler if I could remove this whole bracket. Okay, literally there were four screws right here. This bracket that holds it in place just came out. I might be able to come up with something so I can just reuse that bracket right there. So look at this. This is on here like that. Had two screws on each side and a clip. Release the clip. This starts sliding off. It's connected to this cord here. Okay. That I could unplug that. I'm gonna test out the new screen with this and see if it fits. It would just look factory again. What I would like to try and figure out, if I cut all this off, then I could literally just lay this right on top. Trim this up, sanded it. Well, I have spent way more time on uh, trying to make this bracket than I'm probably going to spend on doing the wiring. And, and here's the downside. I wanted to try and show you guys something that may work that's easier than whatever other people are doing. Basically, I had, to, I had this piece of metal and was able to bend it, put two screws here, put a screw here. Okay, let's move on to wiring. From this wiring harness, this is the main radio, not, not the nav screen. Plugs in like that, I'm looking on this right side. Is Black wire is ground, purple with a blue stripe. That's constant power. The blue wire behind it, this is illumination. The cigarette lighter, I'm gonna tap into that for my switched power. Up here, I just plugged right in. This must be a universal thing. This wasn't something special. I got it off of Amazon for nine bucks. Showing that it's working the way that it's working, I connected one of these to the left and the right front speakers, and all of a sudden now I got sound. In the harness, I've got like this twisted pair of wires. This is literally the third time I've shot this video. The steering wheel controls, they do work. The issue that I found was that volume up was not working volume down forward backwards those were working so what i decided to do was not use volume up and down at all volume up and down will now be controlled just by the regular main unit forward and backwards will be controlled by this volume up and down are being controlled by the main unit forward backwards controlled by this see there is no forward and backwards in aux so that's why it's not an issue and what i did on this unit if you go to home and then you go to settings and then you go to general there's an option that says default media volume every start it's actually off by default but when you turn it on then you can set the volume and i just have it set to all the way up. When the car starts, it's at max volume, and then this, this is what's gonna control it. So the next thing I'm gonna do now is install the microphone. Let's get going with that. Just pop this little thing off. Supposedly, there's a T27 Torx. All 
All right, I like that. All right, here's the microphone right there. I popped off the bottom piece, fed the line, fed the cord underneath here, okay? Which is giving it tension and pulling it down. And then I set it inside there and now, and then I put the base back on to kind of hold it in place so it doesn't wiggle around. So I'm just pushing the plug through to the front. Good. Clip that back in. Run this line around. All right, so let me show you what I'm looking at. There's an opening right here beside the vent. Okay. And with my grabbing tool, there it is. So what I'm gonna do is just drop this in there, grab it with the tool and pull it through. Now let's move on to getting it through there. That will be another fun part. Okay, I don't care about GPS, but it's here, so I'm just gonna do it. <clears throat> okay, I have a feeling this comes out real easy. I bet I could just put a screwdriver in and it'd probably pop out. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. All right, this is a full blown freaking nightmare. So it turns out this section here is like completely sealed off from the front. And so if like you stick your fingers in here, there's a wall that's just preventing stuff from happening. So I had to actually pry this side open and it created an opening that goes to the front. So that's the only way that I got it. Now I just pulled the cord through. It does look like I can pull this part forward and feed the cord this way now. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do next. Let's take a look. And that is now how my plug is gonna sit inside there. I could even close that if I wanted to. Uh, it's all buttoned up. Let's uh, start hooking up a radio, all right? All right, everybody, it is installed. Uh, made a small error. Um, the angle that I actually have it mounted, I think it was supposed to be angled up just a tiny bit. So there's a small gap on each side, which the regular person is not gonna notice. Um, I probably won't even notice, but it just kind of irritates me, but whatever. You know, when 90, 95% of this looks stock, uh, I'm fine with it. Okay, and uh, here is the completed setup. Tested everything out. Right now I am on CarPlay and I'm using CarPlay on the phone that I'm recording from. So that's pretty cool. Okay, wanted to do a video showing you the radio in the daytime. Okay, so let's do a little video driving and see how it looks in the daylight. One last thing that I wanna show you. I did make a couple changes. I now have put the microphone here just because I heard that it was sounding muffled. The other thing I did is I had this dual USB plug thing laying around and so my cords are plugged in to that. That is it. That is the CarPlay video in the factory surround with the factory brace. Looks awesome. Not affected by sunlight. Volume's controlled by this and the steering wheel. Forward, backward is controlled up there. So there it is. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care.
Talk to you later.